PTSD can be really understood as a failure to adapt. It's a condition where there is a trigger, an event, where the limbic system in the brain is lit up and it doesn't sort of defervesce. That in most individuals, when there is an event uh, where especially where one's life is threatened or one sees life being taken or some, when one is in danger where the body normally reacts with a huge amount of adrenaline, the things that allow human beings to flee, to fight or flight, the brain goes into sort of a state of hyperdrive. Individuals who suffer PTSD, unfortunately, have not been able to adapt. And what happens is over time, the brain accommodates to these triggers. The brain learns to calm the circuits down such that one does not experience the flashbacks or the high anxiety or the state of panic and such. And over about a month's time after a traumatic event, most individuals uh, are able to accommodate, their brains cool off. In those who suffer post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, the brain doesn't cool itself off. It remains in the state of hypervigilance, this, this high adrenaline state, if you will, the state of uh, awareness, of alertness, of, of wariness, of high vigilance, such that circuits for sleep get messed up, circuits that respond to, to noises, sounds, sights, visions, scents, odors, and such that might evoke memories is still on high alert. And, and the brain becomes continuous in the state of hyperdrive. Along with that, other circuits uh, change of the way people feel, their emotional state is tied to the limbic system, and that may suffer because of this. One may develop ongoing anxiety, when they develop depression. So uh, that one event can affect more than just the person at that point in time. It can actually cause uh, downstream changes in, in how the brain works, how circuits work. BrainLine is powered in part by Wounded Warrior Project to honor and empower post 9-11 injured service members, veterans, and their families.